Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi there. My name is Erica and today we're going to make cream and egg soap. While I am excited to make this soap, it's been on my list for a while. Ever since I got chickens, I'm like, yes, that would be such a fabulous thing to do. I actually have an egg here for my chicken coop that I picked up personally. And yeah, you might be wondering why is there a smiley face on this egg? Well, let me tell you, I made a TikTok Sunday, uh, January 17th, I believe it, is, it, it was, of 2021, showing how cool it is to grab an egg from my own chicken coop and actually use it in my soaps. Isn't that awesome? Oh, yeah. I, if you want to see that, that video, go head over to my TikTok. I have two, actually. There was one I made a while ago and I messed up on that video because I actually ate the egg that I was supposed to use in my soap, but I redid it with this one. So here you go. Y'all coming over from TikTok seeing this video, there's the egg. So let's get started. We are going to make a simple soap and by simple, I mean complex. Why? Well, we're using egg and cream, which we just can't throw into the soap, the soap oils. We have to temper them, bring them up to temperature. And yeah, it's, it's definitely not a simple soap. It's a simple soap because there's no fragrance and there's no colorants, but it's a complex technique. So I'm definitely going to say that this is a technique for intermediate to advanced soapers. Beginners start at the beginning, get comfortable with soap making, get used to your uh, temperatures and your timing before you do this one. So, let me crack this egg for y'all, and I'll be right back. So, now I have cracked the egg, and it's in a liner, and it's, like, very full. I have my mold. I'm going to put this off to the side. I have my cream. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stir up my oils because I had to melt my butters separately. So let me stir those together really quick. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my egg directly into my warm oils and butters, bring the egg temperature up to match this. This is so cool. <laughs> Now, you want to be careful with blending this up because you don't want to make it too fluffy. I've added the whole egg, not just the yolk, not just the white. I added the whole egg. And if you mix up too much of the egg whites, it will become fluffy. Fluffy soap. All right. So now... What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add my lye solution into my oil egg mixture here. Once that's incorporated, I'm going to add the cream. That's why I was like, this is more of an intermediate step because you have to be very careful. You have to watch your temperatures because you don't want to make scrambled eggs in your soap. Okay. Which means as soon as I pour my soap, I'm going to pop that into the freezer, let that cool off, and then I'll bring you guys back to show you the close up of the top. All right. Pour in the lye solution. Give this a good mix. Get all of that in there. 
looking really good and it's it smells kind of funky i'm not gonna lie that that smell goes away but right now oh boy It's really not worth going in here and trying to scrape that little bit out. Just knock it off as much as you can. Don't sweat the small stuff. Right, now we're going to pour. My favorite part. really no need to tap this because it's very fluid. I'm going to knock the sides though. Got a little bit of batter left in here. Try to scrape this out. Probably just, uh, let's see. put the rest in this little mold oh did y'all see that almost went over the edge oh and I spilled man I am just so messy is going on it is a little tricky cleaning these out at least for me And that's basically it. Since it's still very fluid, I am not even gonna bother texturing it. I'm actually gonna clean this up a little bit. Get my freezer ready. And yeah, I will bring you guys back in a couple hours for you a couple seconds. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how creamy it looks. I am just so excited over this. It came out so wonderful and it's solid-ish. It's still a little soft. Obviously, I just poured it like two hours ago, but oh, look at that color. It is so beautiful. Let's take a look at the loaf. Yep, the edges got a little messy. That's fine. It'll just clean right up. You got a little we got a little pitting on top because of the air bubbles that pop. That's totally fine. It looks so cute and so awesome. These will be available. Let's see. These will be available late February around the 20th. Check out my Instagram and my TikTok and my Facebook. And of course, check back here for updates and when these will be listed. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you liked it, give it a big old thumbs up, leave me a comment and say, hey, maybe you should add some of this ingredient next time or whatever you want to say. That's totally cool by me. Just make it nice. That's all I ask. All right, guys. See you later.